Okay, I'm going to have all of you stand up. All, everyone who wanted that coffee. Stand up. <laughs> turn, turn your chair around. And have a seat. <laughs> this is how we're going to uh, sit today. <laughs> so my back is <laughs> John six. Um, and this is kind of on the coattails of of what our last presenter, Juan Buck, was teaching about, you know, the flesh and the cannibalism. <laughs> and so Jesus had a bunch of disciples. When it's talking about disciples here, it's talking about um, not just the 12, but a big group of Jews, whether they were believers in him or whether they were just kind of following around for the, for the food or for the coffee. Um, so it says, um, John six sixty. when many of his disciples heard it, they said, this is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples were grumbling about this, they said to him, uh, he said to them, do you take offense to this? Then, uh, then what if you were to see the son of man ascending? To where he was before. It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the beginning who, who those were who did not believe and who it was who would betray him. And he said, this is why I told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted to him by the Father. After this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer walked with him. So Jesus said to the twelve, Do you want to go away as well? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve, and yet one of you is a devil. He spoke of Judas, the son of Simi, of Simon Iscariot, for he, one of the twelve, was going to betray him. What I was thinking of as I was, you know, studying for this whole thing and, you know, planning on turning all of y'all around, <laughs> I was, I was really struck by the flesh and the spirit and how that is the entire. That's the, the whole reason for Jesus talking to his disciples. And, you know, they just had a bunch of people leave them because of their fleshly desires. And when you came in here, you weren't thinking, oh, I'm going to turn on Josiah and grab his coffee. But in that sense, Jesus, that's what they were doing to Jesus. They were only trying to use Jesus for the fleshly benefits that they could get. And Peter, being the good spokesman that he was, he he says he says some of the boldest statements in the first half of John by saying, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and you are the Holy One of God. A lot of commentaries take this as um, as Peter being really arrogant. That's why Jesus kind of shuts him up and says, I already knew who you guys were. I already knew who was following me, who would not turn their back on me, and even who would. So even though Peter praises Jesus and tries to kind of get on Jesus' good side, he is still one of the followers. And I see that a lot here at school when we are, you know, we, we study theology and we think, oh yeah, we're, we're great, we need, to just, we need to just be great Christians. And others are just completely lost and they lose, they lose belief or they never even had belief. And so I, I, I see John 6 
the end of John 6 is an encouragement for all of you to not see theology as the fleshly thing that we are gaining from Jesus, but see theology as the spiritual gift from God. Mm. Wow. Good word. You guys can turn around now. By the way, that coffee is really cold. Sorry. Fuck <laughs> 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 <laughs>